A last-minute deal was struck, allowing the containers to be cleared for entry in the EU. It provided some relief, but the delay cost South African exporters over $12 million. Had we not intervened and negotiated this settlement, it would have meant all containers are rejected because any importing country has got three rights uh, with respect to importation. One is they can treat or they can destroy or they can return. The EU's new regulations require citrus fruit imports to go through specific mandatory cold treatment processes and pre-cooling steps for up to 25 days before importation. We got notice of it on the 24th of June with the implementation the 14th of July and uh, it was interpreted that, that this will then start the 14th of July and we have 20 or 21 days notice in order to implement it. However, uh, on the 14th of July, Europe started rocking containers. The EU stepped up regulations are aimed at preventing the potential spread of the false codling moth, which is native to sub-Saharan Africa. Even though South African farmers send only the best fruit to Europe, they will still need to comply. Compliance will come at an extra cost, one the citrus industry can barely afford. The background uh, processes of exporting fruit starts right at the beginning from the growing, from the packing, from the packing facilities, cleaning, washing in this specific case, washing it, and then it still has to travel, and that's a cost that uh, uh, already is worked in. So when you work out your profit, you would have worked, obviously, this cost in. And what farmers did not work in this time around is extra nine days or so of uh, further cooling in, in the European Union. The problem is that everything comes back to the farm, and when your cost chain goes up, be it by 1% or 10%, it means that 1% or 10% less money comes back to a farm. South Africa is the world's second largest exporter of citrus fruit after Spain, but it may have to look beyond Europe. The European Union market is becoming difficult to penetrate, to access. As a country, we're going to have to start looking for other markets. More than 80% of our, our citrus fruits go to Europe. You've got to have to diversify. You've got to have to start looking for other markets. South Africa has launched a dispute with the World Trade Organization, but negotiations will continue as Europe is an important trade partner and South Africa's largest market for the citrus industry, accounting for 37% of all exports.